what happened at the cocktail party last night. What did Rick do to Sonny to provoke this sudden display of brotherly love? Uh, you know, there were some people there. There were a lot of uh, drinks and music and politicking. And I mean, if, if, uh, if something went, went on between Sonny and Rick, I, I certainly... Rick has say. no idea why Sonny chose to provoke him like that. Do you know why? I asked him if he could just be supportive for one night, one night. I don't think that's too much to ask, do you? I can't seem to get... <coughs> okay, I'm okay. Yeah. No, you're not. I'm all right. The oncologist is going to be here. I need you to do me a favor. Sonny has made a bad situation even worse. And since I'm not able to do anything about it, I need you to try to make <coughs> fences with them. Rick and Sonny... No, 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 no. Forget Rick. Stop worrying about everyone else. Just concentrate on you I'm getting trying, better, but please. but I can't really get anyone to cooperate now, can I? You listen to me. I am not okay. And I need Christina and Molly to have stability. And you and Rick and Sonny are the most I have to offer them. So, damn it, I need you all to get along. It's, it's me. Um, I just want to let you know that it was really nice hearing your voice, even though it was only in a message. And I guess that's it. Just be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey. Sorry, I kept you waiting. No, thanks. Thanks for coming. Let's get a table. Okay. Alexis is about what'll happen to Christina and Molly if she yeah. does. Yeah, well, she wants them. She wants them to stay together. I, I don't. No, I, exactly. She's already said that she wants Rick to raise them with me as their maternal influence. Right. Well, the way Alexis grew up, some version of a nuclear family, I'm sure is important to her. Nicholas, it's a horrible arrangement. I cannot stand Rick, and I know, I am sure, I know, I know the feeling is mutual, and I just... It's just one or two of you are just trying to help her get through cancer. No, right? it, it's more than Rick and I not getting along, okay? He, he's a horrible choice for Christina. I can't speak for Molly, but Christina cannot be with Rick. Christina adores Rick, and... and... He appears to be a loving stepfather. Appears. I mean, I, this is as long as Alexis is around to keep her eye on him. Okay, look, you know Rick. He's got this love-hate relationship with Sonny. It is stronger than any affection he feels for Christina. If he gets custody of her, he will use her against Sonny. And this this is a volatile situation for everyone involved. Well, have you spoke to Alexis about that? <sighs> Come on. She's too sick for that. I can't do that. Yeah. I just want my sisters to be provided for, and I know it is asking a lot. But I was thinking that maybe you could ask Alexis if she could appoint you guardian of the girls. Before you answer, just please think about it, please. Because trusting Rick is not the answer. You know, it's always felt. There, there is no way that I can take Christina and Molly. They both have fathers that would fight me to the death. Look, Sonny, he wants what's best for Christina, and I know his first choice would be taken for himself, but you might be the best way to honor Alexis's request to have the girls stay together. Sam, Sam, Rick would never allow me to take Molly, and, 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 and I don't blame him. Why should any father be away from their child unless he's dangerous? And I don't... Why don't you tell me what's really going on? What did he do to you? Nicholas? Hey, Rick. Who's at the hospital with Alexis? She's there with her doctors. Nicholas, he wanted to discuss her treatment without her around, so... We know how she always wants to put a good face on for everyone. And, uh, I just, I need to get the facts, so... Care to join us? No, no, I'm, uh, meeting somebody. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. You might as well tell me what's going on. I mean, Rick's married to my aunt, Sam. If he's done something to hurt her, I need to know. Yeah. 
Rick and I, we don't get along mostly because of Jason. I love him. He hates him. <sighs> okay, I, I don't mean to. I don't mean to sound insensitive here. But your mother has cancer. Aren't her wishes more important than some residual loyalty you have to your ex-boyfriend? With all due respect, I've known Alexis far longer than Rick or you. And I trust her judgment, so I'm going to abide by her wishes until you give me a reason not to. Now, I'm sorry, until you, until you tell me whatever it is that you're not telling me, I just can't help you. You and Nicholas look pretty intense. What was that all about? He was worried about Alexis. He should try it sometime instead of having meetings with Lorenzo Alcazar. Well, I'm the DA. He's a known gangster. I just figured I'd put him on notice. Oh, really? By meeting him for drinks? We can't be civil. Sure, I'll try it. Leave me alone. <coughs> All right? I'm going to pay you down. No, Bob. He already knows. <coughs> knows what? That I have pneumonia. Oh, God. Well, then they're going to know what they're dealing with and they'll know how to treat them. Okay? It is ironic, though, you know. They take out a portion of my lung. I survived the surgery. And before I even get a chance to beat the cancer, the pneumonia kills me. But enough of the jokes. Rick, can you come over here? We need to talk. Apparently, I may not have much time.